Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Hendu Jr. and this is a let's play of Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Now, if you were here for the last episode, which was an absolute banger of an episode, it was fantastic. I ended up fighting both Watkin and Gonzap in a row and won with only Ampharos and Golbat left. <laughs> And I gotta say, Amphros absolutely was the MVP in that fight. Literally, he just kept body slamming and paralyzing Pokemon. I say kept doing that. He only ta he only body slammed like two Mons, but he paralyzed the both of them the moment he touched them. It was fantastic. And it was absolutely clutch. It made the biggest difference in that fight. Had the paral had the paralysis not come in effect, I would have absolutely lost that fight. It was wild. It was awesome. Probably never going to do that again. <laughs> it was actually one of the first times I'd actually fought Gonzap with Mons at the same level as him. Or below. I usually fight with Mons stronger than my opponent. So the fact that I actually ended up fighting him by accident with same level Mons is unusual for me. But it was a hell of a fight. And if that's how things are going to go, I might have to make that a habit. That was absolutely wild. I did not expect to be able to pull off that fight the way that I did. And things just kept playing out in just the right way. In the end, I honestly thought that I was going to lose at least... At the very least, I thought I was going to lose uh, Golbat right at the end and finish him off with Amphros. But he went and did a stupid move. It was amazing. I got to shut up now because I'm ranting and that's probably not good. <laughs> um, anyway, so we beat Gonzap. We got his key. It's for this chest right here, which should have... TM30, which if I remember correctly, it should be Shadow Ball. I'm going to be pissed if it's not Shadow Ball. <laughs> yep, Shadow Ball. So, uh, I do... Do I want to... Mm. Bullet Seed, hold on a hot second there, because I know... One of my mons could learn that if I really wanted to teach them, but, oh, it doesn't give information like that. That's too bad. Uh, it's too bad it doesn't give power. All right. Because I would probably go with Bullet Seed if it was powerful enough, but I don't think it gets a power boost until way later on. I think it stays at 15 up until a later gen where it gets boosted up to 25. At least then it's somewhat decent. So I have Shadow Ball and Flamethrower. I might teach those to someone. Who could I teach Flamethrower to? I desperately need someone who can use fire. And no one, of course. Great. Awesome. I could teach Amphros Fire Punch, but uh, it's one of the moves that he can learn in one way or another, but I don't think that's a possibility in this game. How about Shadow Ball? Let's see what we can do there. Ooh. Okay, so Umbreon and Baltoy can learn it, but they're defensive tanks, really. They just know how to take a hit. They're not great at damage. 
Golbat could learn Shadow Ball. Problem is, Shadow Ball is a special attack. Now, yes, Golbat has a better special attack than it does physical attack at the moment. But the second it evolves into Crobat, that should change. It should end up having a better physical attack than special attack. So I'm not so sure I really want to teach Golbat that. So unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to teach anyone on my team Shadow Ball. Not without regretting it later on down the line. How many? Ooh. I'm a little low on uh, catching items. But uh, I might go and buy a couple of Ultra Balls on the side just so that I have that. Because I know when I get to the end, I'm going to need some good stuff to be able to catch anything. All right, so, oh, you know what? Let's go deal with Togepi first. Because right at the end of last episode, both Maror B and, or Mirror B, Maror or Mirror, I'm going to keep calling Maror B. If it pisses you off, oh well. Go ahead and make comments and leave a comment. Bitch about it. I don't really care. Um, But yeah, Maror B and uh, Togepi popped up. So Togepi is ready to be purified and... Uh, Mirror B showed up, so we'll hop in here and we'll purify Togepi. I don't know what I want to do. I I like Ampros, but I really like uh <coughs> I really like the setup with um with uh, Electa, uh, Elekid. Because Togepi traded off gives you Elekid. And as I mentioned before, Elekid comes with three of the elemental punches, fire, uh, fire, ice, and lightning, or fire, ice, and thunder punch, and cross chop, or brick break. Something to that effect. It's a fighting move in the three elemental punches. Which is absolutely fantastic setup for later on an Electabuzz. It would be fantastic for an Electivire, but that's not going to happen in this game. So, the choices are I either keep a hold of Togepi just to spite the guy for the hell of it. And keep using Amphros, or I can trade in Togepi and get uh and get the Ella kid and swap him out for my Amphros. Honestly, if I really had to choose, I think I would choose the Ella kid. Just because it would give me that fire type coverage that I'm currently lacking. On top of the fun fact that it would also cover for my lightning and a backup ice if I absolutely need it. So it's definitely something that I, for one, would like to do. And it's also a mon I've never really had the chance to use before. I always end up going along with one of the late uh, mons late in the game. Like, uh, I think Manetric is usually the one I end up going for. Just because Manetric is awesome and I enjoy playing with Manetric on my team. But, yeah. Let me, down in, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. I think I might end up going with uh, that Ella kid 
trade. Just because as much as I like Amphros, I think Elekid will be way more useful to my team. Just for the coverage. So, and then I'm going to have to eventually get Golbat to level up to match the rest of the team. Unfortunately, I, I want her to evolve into a Crobat already, but she keeps refusing. Alright, where is Maror B at? Uh, that's right, I need to go on the items. Over here... Relgum Tower? Screw that. If I remember correctly, Relgum Tower is in like the 30s or... Well, in 30s I could probably do. It would probably take a good chunk of my team, but I could probably do it. Uh, but if it's in the 40s, that's kind of out of the question. So, Relgum Tower. Yeah, no, they're all in the 40s. Screw that. Nose Pass is a level 40? I didn't realize it was that high of a level. Screw that. Yeah, no. I'm, uh... Yeah, I, that, that's gonna have to wait. Screw dealing with that. So, Maror B can show up as many times as he wants. I am not dealing with that fight yet. That's way out there. Now then. Another quick stop here. Whoops, too far. There we are. So... Ooh, yeah, I'm getting very close to running into the, yeah, I'm, 36 is the next level, oh, shit, do I really want to push it, or do I want to level grind, crap, I don't know. I'll think about it. I might just stick to close to the level, just because that does make for an exciting battle. And I do have to admit that it was awesome accomplishing what I did the way that I did against Gonzap. And with only, like, four Pokemon, honestly. Uh, I already had two of my mons out when I fought Gonzap. And I still ended up winning the fight. I didn't exactly wipe the floor with him, but I did do relatively well. Go and watch it. I mean, it's it's a fantastic fight. I absolutely am very proud of that fight, honestly. I, I've never had a fight go that close and still allow me to win. It's always gone bad for me. RNG is not my friend in Pokemon games. Ever. Alright, so... I'm about to deal with probably the more annoying... Dude. Oh boy. Quit scurrying around. You're getting on my nerves. Don't think you're hot stuff just because you beat me once by a fluke. And what's that showing off that... And what's with showing off that weird machine on your arm? You're begging for a thumping. And I'll deliver it this time. I'll bash, thrash, and crash you just like you want. Go ahead. I kind of want your Amphros... Or your... Uh, Zangoose? Yeah, Zangoose. And it's the first thing he freaking throws out. God dang. All right. It is his prized shadow, so he's he takes pride in that thing more so than he really ought to. 
Now, here's... It's a level 28. Do I go Mock Punch and risk taking it out? Or do I whittle it down? Because Doduo is going to be absolutely in my way. I could do Ancient Power on Doduo. Yeah, let's do that. Ancient Power on Doduo. I don't think it'll take it out. But there is a chance. It's not likely. It's probably not going to happen. But there's a chance I can get an Omni Boost. Just saying. And then Breloom... What do I want to do with you? Actually, I've been trying to avoid using my old guidebook just because I don't want to rely on it. But the benefits of knowing certain things is useful. Uh, its defense is mediocre. Its attack is the scary thing. And it's speed. Um. Hmm. Let's see. I could go Mock Punch. It's weaker than Head, but. But it gets Stab. Which would. Ultimately. It would still be weaker. Then headbutt. But then it's also super effective, which will do double. And that absolutely throws it off. So. Because then that goes from being a 60 to a 120. Yeah, let's just do headbutt on the I do mock punch, it'll probably just end up taking it out, honestly. I mean, yes, its level is le relatively comparable, so it probably would have survived. Ooh. So long as it's not a crit, I should be able to use a mock punch, and it will... Fuck. Ah, I should have known better. Well, there goes Breloom. Yay! I am starting this off... This fight off, fan freaking tastic. Let's throw out Amphros. This is gonna suck. This whole area is gonna suck. It's gonna be do a fight, go and heal. Do a fight, go and heal. Do a fight, go and heal. It it's just not gonna turn out well for me. Thunder shock on Zangus, I guess. Shadow Rush is absolutely going to wreck. Ooh. All right. Okay. Uh, that's not too bad. Thundershock should weaken it. Mm, weaken him a little bit. Yeah, okay. There we go. There we go. That's that's looking good. I was kind of hoping for a paralysis there, but I'll take it. Try attack on Amphros, really. They're really not wanting to go for Ball Toy. That's interesting. Probably because of the fact that Baltoy is a wall that just will eat up their attacks like frickin' Snorlax eating up mountains of food. So I can see why they wouldn't want to. Level 33 Amphros. I didn't really want to get it that high, but okay. Uh, three to physical, or three to health, one to speed, two to everything else. That's all right. So, Carvana. Really? You really want to send that out? All right. Um, we'll use Mud Slap on Zangoose. It'll weaken it a little more, and it will drop the accuracy, so I won't have to worry about it hitting so often. Thundershock on Carvana. Uh, yeah, they probably thought Zangoose would Shadow Rush and take him out, which it does. All right, fair point. I don't have anything to deal with Carvana now. Oh, there goes Zang. 
Yagus is now paralyzed. Awesome. That actually, I'm okay with. So, what do I send out? Neither one of the ones that are actually level appropriate do anything special against either one of them. And Golbat is way weak, so that's not going to work. Especially with Zangu still out there. So... No matter which one I send out, they're not going to be able to deal with Carvana properly. Oh, damn. This is going to be rough. I'll send out Umbreon. Umbreon is a bit of a tank. More so specially than physically, but... Should be fine. And yeah, water... Oh, okay. I was wholeheartedly expecting that to go towards uh, Baltoy, honestly. And of course he gets confused. That freaking figures. Ha <laughs> RNG, bitch! And so long as Zangoose doesn't have something that can affect itself, like recoil, I should be fine. Oh, do I want to just go with a normal attack? But Carvana, mm, this just isn't isn't a good setup at all. He took out the two mons that could actually deal with Carvana before he threw out Carvana. Well, kinda. That was a smart move on his part. All right. Um, and he's still got two other mons in the back. This is going to be very rough. Let's do a quick attack on Carvana. Come on. Dang it. Umbreon is literally just there to take hits, honestly. Unless it's, he starts going, yep, for ball toy. Figures. Dang it. Probably trying to confuse confuse ball toy. Thankfully it doesn't take effect. Ha ah, ah, Zangus is now very much in yes range for a ball. Let's see. Baltoy can't really do anything to Carvana, though. That's the problem. So... I, all of his Baltoy's attacks are not going to be effective. Psychic gets immune, and both Mudslap and Ancient Power it resists. So... Specifically, Water resists it. So, that doesn't help any of you. I suppose I could at least do Mud Slap, try and lower its accuracy, I guess. And then I can use Umbreon to try and catch it. Do I just go with Pokeball? It, mm, waste time trying to catch it with a Pokeball, or just about guarantee with an Ultra Ball. I'll use a Pokeball. I need to use up the last of them anyway, and I'm not really going to have much of a choice here. I'll probably save, like, two for the second... Uh, yeah, that did not... Did not go the way I was hoping it would. And... Ooh, Baltoy held on. Nice job. And then he gets confused. Great. Awesome. Come on, ball toy. Yep. Nope. There it goes. Oh, this fight is absolutely going to F me over. Um, Celio is the only thing I can send out. Just means that... Yeah, this is not looking good. Why is this fight messing me up more than the Gonzap fight? He's weaker in level. 
freaking type matchups just absolutely chewed me out. Alright, um... I suppose I can do Water Pulse on Carvana, try and confuse it. Try and use his freaking methods against him. You know what? No. Screw it. I am not playing this game. Just getting the ball. The Ultra Ball should just about guarantee it. It might be close, but it should have a really good chance. Thank you, piece of crap. Get that out of the way. He's the most problematic one, honestly. And then, of course, a Viper comes out. Jeez. Oh, Ball toy would have been very useful here. Nope, nope, mm, what? Not very effective and just about took it out. I forgot Carvana's defenses are absolute crap. <clears throat> <laughs> I absolutely forgot about that. Holy crap. Um. So. Yeah, I'll just do Water Pulse on Carvana again. Screw it. Bite on Survivor. Come on. Dang it. Well, the combination of its attack being low and its defense being uh, high, it's not really going to hurt itself too much, but still. This is a one-man a one -man show right here. Well, one-woman show, really, going on right here. Ugh, Relicanth, really? That thing? Ugh, Celio is absolutely getting wrecked, too. This is not helping. All right, so. I'm gonna call Umbreon, see if I can try and. Nope, didn't snap out of confusion. Damn it. I was really hoping for that one. Yeah, that works. Thankfully, she decided to go into the... Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, ah, you piece of crap. I see what you're trying to do. I might actually lose this fight. Crap. This is what I get for trying to fight low... This is what I get for fighting teams with not research. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um. Crap. So... Probably do wing attack on Surviper and bite on Relicanth. Come on, Umbreon! Thank you! I could have used that a couple turns ago. Last couple turns. Because Relicanth can take out Golbat with one attack. Saviper, I don't think, can do a whole lot to Golbat, so... Poison Tail, that must be Umbreon, yeah. They must be trying to take out Umbreon real quick so that they don't have to worry about... Yes! Thank you! Okay, this is where things really freaking matter here. Let's do this the other way. Let's have Golbat use Bite on Relicanth. Hopefully, Golbat can take him out, her out. And Umbreon can bite the Viper. Come on, Umbreon. Oh, my God. And that's the end of Umbreon. With the amount of health he has left... Poison's gonna take him out. Unless Saviper attacks him herself. Poison Tail. Yep, there goes Umbreon. But that gives Golbat a free ticket to 
Wing attacks the Viper, and that's the end. Holy crap. I don't do well with these kind of fights. I hate this. The stress and the anxiety caused by these kinds of fights just absolutely drive me nuts. I am glad that I won. I am excited that I was able to actually use Golbat, who is one of my weakest mons, to win against Gon... Or, uh, well, actually, yeah, both Gonzap and uh, this dude whose name I can't remember because he's too much of a freaking nut. Uh, I just, I don't care for him. <laughs> But, god damn, I don't like these kind of fights. I like taking it easy. I don't like the close fights like this. They just drive me nuts. Alright, so three to health. Two to special attack and special defense. And one to everything else. I don't get this. I don't remember Golbat being a special heavy mon. I really don't. So this is an odd thing for me. Holy crap, Golbat. Good job. Holy crap. Roar! What'll I do? What'll I do? Gorgian's gonna chew me out again! Zangus was sent to the PC. Storage system. Yay. Ah, oh, dang it. I was really hoping that Goldbert was going to evolve there. Piece of freaking shit. Ugh. The punk thumped me. And Gorgon will be furious with me again. I should go away. Somewhere far away where Cypher won't have any influence. So long, punk. I've had enough of battling you to last a lifetime. So, interesting thing, I, I would have liked to have seen Zu Zusk? Was that his name? Zook? I don't know. I don't really care. Um, kind of surprised they didn't involve him in any other games. It would have been interesting to see him just kind of randomly appear in one of the later games just because he had to go away somewhere away from Cypher. It would have made for an interesting uh, piece of information, you know? Ugh. My mons have gotten beat the F up. How is it Amphros ended up getting a level up out of that? I want Golbat. Golbat, seriously. I really wish they'd, you know, give you something other than talking to someone to figure out what your friendship level with Pokemon is. I do know where that is, so... Oh, right. Alright, so you... Go there. It, you're not really gonna do much more than that, but it works, so it's fine. So, oh, that's right. It was that okay? I don't think there's much more I can do for that. I mean. Fortress would probably be a good replacement, but I think I have the, yeah, there, so, if I could evolve it, that would make it even better, um, make it even better for that setup, anyway, alright, so, yeah, I've got Togepi, I am seriously contemplating trading out that mon so let me know in the comments below if 
there's not enough votes for it one way or the other, I'll probably just go ahead and trade it out myself anyway. Just because I honestly think that having that coverage will be more useful than anything else. Flat out. So, of course, I might have to train a little bit. Because this is not, not good level positioning for me in this area. I'll probably just train them up to 40 call it good, because I can't, I'm not, uh, I did enjoy the fights, yes, I do think that with enough conditioning, I could probably get used to the fighting like that, but that's for another time, another day, I'm not gonna worry about it right now, anyway, went on a little long, but thank you guys for joining me on this Let's Play of Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. Please like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.